Tucson, Arizona, the city that is often underestimated, but really it is because an untrained eye can't see a diamond in the rough. Surrounded by mountains, the presence of harsh but incredibly beautiful nature here is huge. It shaped the way of life in the city and shaped its people who learned to appreciate the outside and cultivate the inside. Hello my friends from Tucson, Arizona, the oldest city in the state and because it is a border city, they have a, you can feel it how they have true appreciation to uh, its multicultural past, its uh, Udum Indians culture and um, Mexican culture and settlers culture and of course everybody else who came after and to me the city is all about sensory experience. Maybe because of the incredible nature here, the, it's deserts, it's a heat, and uh, five mountains that surround the city, and also giant saguaro cacti is everywhere. So senses of sight and taste uh, is very huge, hugely present here. That's why it's called one of uh, one of very few U.S. Uh, gastronomy cities, and um, we're and. In incredible artistry, tons of murals, so we're going to be exploring it all and let's do it! The first stop is San Javier del Bay Mission, the oldest European building in the state and for sure one of the coolest. It is actually one of the oldest uh, continuously inhabited areas in North America. The more modern history started in about 1775 when settlers came and uh, built presidios here and they also built this San Javier del Bac mission. It was founded as a Catholic mission by Father Eusebi Aquino. He was a priest and scientist who came here and he built all these churches and of more than 20 and he baptized more than four and a half thousand Native Americans here and eventually he was killed by rebellious Indian tribes. The church interior is filled with marvelous original statues and mural paintings. Truly authentic 18th century space. The architect Ignacio Gana built another church in Caborca, Sonora, Mexico if you ever want to see it. But the details, the painting, the colors are just so beautiful. Following Mexican independence from Spain in 1821, San Javier became part of Mexico and then in 1854 when they signed a US and Mexico signed agreement, a purchase agreement, then it became part of United States. Next stop could not be more different from the previous one. It transported us from the place of peace to the place of war. We're at the Titan Missile Museum. It's a pretty comprehensive museum about Cold War between USSR and USA. I was growing up in the USSR at the time and it is just so interesting to see the difference on how these two governments handled it. They do a great tours here, definitely worth to see. Arizona has always played an important role in defense and intelligence during Cold War and World War II also. We spent some time wandering around Tucson. Given the desert heat in the area, people created spaces to enjoy. It is a very photogenic and compact city with lots of cool restaurants, lights and murals. So murals actually date back to 30,000 BC uh, that they found some in French caves. And then after that, of course, uh, in ancient Egypt, they found a lot of murals in, in the tombs. And of course, Italians then later on took it to a next level. And then there was a Mexican muralism movement, art movement movement that happened that became a base of modern muralism or modern murals and here in Tucson people in general started appreciating murals much more walls and ceilings don't really have to be plain 
but uh, here in Tucson you're gonna find so many murals I have a map that uh, that can guide you if you're interested I'm gonna link a map and uh, explanation to every mural um, for you in the description Tucson may be a small city but it is for sure charming and a little quirky they do have some random stories to tell this is a Congress hotel so um, here infamous gangster and FBI most wanted stay and then the hotel got caught fire they gave a hefty tip to firemen who became suspicious so the next day FBI raided them and uh, and arrested and then at the courthouse this old courthouse that is in downtown and um, that's where they were all tried this was a huge story at the time he was a crazy man and I will link the story in the description Congress Hotel had another guest and this time uh, a hero true hero uh, Vince Zuda he was a World War II veteran and in 1965 he came here and became very very good friend with owners and he ended up staying here and residing until he died in 2001 in room 221 so UNESCO which is United States uh, National Education and Culture Organization so uh, UNESCO uh, decided that uh, they're deciding uh, gastronomy cities and um, they, they found three in the United States one was in Houston San Diego and Tucson is another one so uh, here they have 23 miles of Mexican food and I will link the uh, map in the description and you can just kind of go from one to another or you just um, stay in one and enjoy Mexican food and meanwhile we were so hungry so we ended up sitting in a pub um, something in ice cream I'm gonna also link it in the description it's American food and I'm so excited so we're going to check it out Nature is one of the absolutely best attractions of Tucson and here the world is dominated by Sonoran Desert and its gift, the saguaros. The cacti forest scenic loop is an absolutely stunning 8 mile drive. Saguaros grow pretty slowly but they store a lot of water and can get up to 50 feet tall. So the park has two areas separated by Tucson. The Red Hill Tucson Mountain District, which is west, and then Recon Mountain District in the east. So Tucson Mountain is more of a volcanic rock, while Recon Mountain, it's much wetter uh, area. So, uh, so there's a little bit of a difference in vegetation. It is incredible how they kind of imitate a human. They even have some old folk stories where they say that humans were turned in saguaros. Now in the Recon Mountain District, they also have a loop and it is five miles of unpaved. They just repaved it, um, so it's kind of unpaved, repaved <laughs> loop. Um, also quite incredible, they do have some um, petroglyphs in the area and uh, if you have some time, definitely check it out. But if you don't have time, start with an eight mile loop in a Tucson Mountain area. Final activity of the day, climbing a rock to see the desert sunset. When you come to Arizona, to Southern Arizona, and uh, you always have to for sure <laughs> consider the weather here. And um, they have extremely hot summers. And the best time is like right now, which is what, November. Also, they have basically, they always say that here in desert, they have five seasons. And the fifth season is monsoon season, which is starts somewhere around July 4th and ends around Labor Day, somewhere in September. So it's definitely something to watch for. It's, it can get quite dangerous uh, in desert. So always respect the nature. This was an amazing trip to Tucson. Exploring it gave me a window to understanding people who live in Arizona. The nature here is so extreme and powerful that it takes a special people to live and love it. 
people who appreciate different kind of beauty, who are independent from the hustle of the world, because a desert is all about being free and unobstructed. People who are tough, smart, and respectful, because nature will teach you lessons if you are none of these things. Well, this is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the videos. All links, addresses, description, everything in the description box below. And there's two honorable mentions, two places I would love to see, but I didn't get a chance. One is Prima Air and Space Museum. It has airplane boneyard and it looks absolutely incredible. And the other one is Biosphere 2, which is basically in the middle of desert they created a place space where they have different weathers and uh, e ecosystems so this is one of the things I would love to check out one day um, but meanwhile please like the videos if you liked it subscribe share this video with your friends please watch all the ads you get and uh, it's gonna be a big help and support I linked in the description all other videos that we shot here in Arizona and once again Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!